I agree. It's not a good idea. I, hopefully none of the AI companies are advocating for replacements of clinical assessment by trained dentists who have gone to school. I don't think anybody would make that argument. And then so you actually nailed what I believe from myself to be the most value that you receive from radiographic AI. And that's the trust that you can build with the patient. When you're diagnosing something that you see Dr. Milad, you're like, hey, here's a cavity right here. And you can say, but you don't have to just take my word for it. Let me show you, we're actually using AI technology, especially with younger patients and with younger generation. That's going to go a long way into building trust and credibility in that engagement where they're going to be more likely to accept the treatment plan that you put forth for them. Now, if you see something that to your point, you're like, I can watch this for two more years. Most of the AI providers now, whether it be Overjet, Vidya, Pearl, allow you to take that out of the findings that you are presenting. So I think Pearl was brilliant in the term of second opinion. That is literally how it should be thought of. It is decision assistance. It is not clinical diagnosis, nor should you think that it is. And so when they first came out, all these AI companies, it was like, you can increase production, case acceptance, and increase by this percentage. Let's be real. Does anybody believe like the software companies when they throw out some random percentages, like your like, uh, production increases 25% once you install this practice management software? Like, no, nobody really like believes all like individual case studies can be impactful and powerful of one person's experience. But the real value for AI is the credibility, the building trust, and also consistency of care across an entire organization, which can be challenging, um, especially if you have a lot of new associates and people that are uh, just recently out of dental school. If you want to have some ability to control and understand what's being diagnosed, what's being treatment planned across a broad swath of your, of your organization, you get that ability using some of these AI tools that can then provide you data and analytics surrounding that and doctor comparisons, standard kind of benchmarking across different practices with how many cavities are seen, how many crowns are completed. Like that's valuable for an organization who wants to ensure that their patients are all receiving similar experiences. Yeah. And I, and I also think, Mr. Mark, to your point as well, I think when you have, you know, tools like Pearl, I think it also reduces the patient wanting to go to other dentists to get second opinion because yes. I have so many patients that comes in, they're like, I want a second opinion. I want a second opinion. And I think that's another thing that has so much value to it is just when you show the patient what you're saying based on the usage of the AI, it just it automatically makes that patient saying, what's the point of me going down the street to get a second opinion? It's already there. The doctor is seeing it. The computer is seeing it. I think it also reduces the patient wasting time going from office to office. Mm -hmm.